If you want to know how to put on the Breg Polacare Kodiak in South Low Pads, you came to the right spot. We're going to show you how to do it fast and easy, step by step. Hi, it's Steve from My Cold Therapy, where we help people get back to living. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button and all the links to everything we mentioned in the video, where you can find a link in the description box below. Let's jump right into it. Cold therapy is an awesome way to help relieve your pain and swelling after surgery, injury, or just the hard day of being a weekend warrior. So how do we properly use the cold therapy device? Well, I'm going to show you the proper way to do it end to end. And once we're done, I'm going to show you the number one trick to help make your cold therapy experience easier. All right, how do we do this? Michelle, take us through the steps of the application of the Breg Kodiak Intel Flow Pads. The first thing we need to do is make sure that the pad and the part number are correct. You would do this by looking at the front right corner of the pad where the part number will be listed on the white label. Notice this is a sealed bag and once the sealed bag has been opened it cannot be returned. You will be getting a flyer with your pad that shows the different connectors. The Cuban Kodiak systems have different connectors. So please be sure to make sure that you order the correct pad. The other item you're going to get is a skin warning flyer. You never want to put the cold pad directly on your skin as it could cause some damage or some frostbite. And the universal protocol for cold therapy is 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off. Also, please make sure to check with your doctor for any other instructions while you're using the cold therapy device, just to be on the safe side. To protect your skin, we sell sterile dressings for each cold therapy pad on our website. You can also use a thin towel or a t-shirt, but please don't put the pad directly on your skin. They come in a sealed package and this is how you apply them. This is the hand and wrist dressing, which can be used on both the Cube and Kodiak hand and wrist pads. You're going to open the sealed package and remove the dressing. Once you have it open, you want to remove the tabs that are on the back. Once you've done that, you're going to place it on the pad, press down firmly, and then you are ready to apply it to your body part. And as you can see, our sterile dressing is in place. Now, we trimmed the sterile dressing to make it fit the pad better and also cut out the centerpiece, which is where your thumb is going to go. So first, you're going to put your thumb through the center. You're going to take your two straps and attach one to the back side and one to the front side. You're going to do the same thing with the second strap. Once it's on there and fastened securely, it should look something like this. And this little Velcro piece right here is actually used to connect the front and the back to keep it closed. And this is what it should look like. Great job, Michelle, in showing us how to do that. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I'm going to show you our number one trick to help make things easier for you. We have freeze bags that you can use in the cooler. And they come in packs of 12. You place three in the cooler and the rest in the fridge, and then you just keep rotating the bags. This way, especially if you're alone, you don't have to keep chasing after ice, and your refrigerator will have a really hard time keeping up anyway. Now that you know how to use your cold therapy machine, let me know in the comments section below if you found this video helpful, and do give us a like, and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and let's get back to living.